Some parents in our area are starting to notice tiny red spots on their children after they spend time outside, and they have a lot of questions about where they're coming from. CBS News' Astrid Martinez shows us what's behind these bug bites and how to keep your kids safe. When the weather gets warmer, children love to be outside. I am an outside playing kid. But with it comes bugs. I was like, I'm bleeding. So I ran into the house. And when she turned around, she was bitten from ear to ear in the back of her neck. It looked like she had been bitten by a vampire. This was Lila Savitsky's neck two weeks ago. Today, she still has several welts and scabbing. I was obviously alarmed. Mom Dana found they're not alone. Pictures show kids all over Westchester County bleeding from the pesky insects. The culprit, tiny black flies. Entomologists say they can travel in swarms. Tons, tons of kids are getting bug bites right now. Dr. Marianne Boetti's Goro says it's no surprise they're landing on young ones, primarily because they're outside longer and more active. I find that the bugs are looking for the areas behind where the ear attaches to the head, mm -hmm. in the neck, under the arms. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had a dollar for every bug found behind the knees mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes on the buttocks because mm -hmm. they are looking for these nice, warm, hidden spots. And although these black flies can seem aggressive, doctors say they don't pose a threat. So what should you do? Doctors suggest applying a bug spray containing DEET to exposed areas of the skin only. It's safe for children two months and over. If they still get bit, clean the area with soap and water, put a cold compress, and watch for scratching. Sometimes children can actually infect it by continuously trying to scratch the area. And what happens is they actually uh, open the skin up a little bit, mm -hmm. and then they can get the bacteria that live on their skin or under their fingernails into the area. It's terrible, but at least we know it's not anything to be alarmed about. For now, it's about finding a way for kids and bugs to coexist outdoors, at least in the warmer months. In Bedford, Westchester County, Astrid Martinez, CBS 2 News. And doctors say there are some bug sprays that can be applied directly to clothing, and even after the clothes are washed, they can maintain some effectiveness. So just annoying. We'll just go with that yeah. for now. Mm.